Hi everyone, today we're gonna try to insert a tempo fader in a logic to increase the BPM of your project or decrease it in real time. Let's get into it. Welcome and welcome back my friends to one of these kind of tutorial pills where I'm trying to explain actually first to myself even before I start explaining to you how to accomplish some let's say crazy weird and nerdy stuff in logic right sometimes I found some other dos could do some of these operation in a way easier and more straightforward style so obviously um, one could argue why don't you simply start using Ableton Live or Digital Lab Performer or whatever other DO uh, you think would be better for that? Well, to be honest, I found myself very often very close to the point of thinking, what if I switch to, let's say, Cubase? Because, you know, it could do this or that operation just in one single shot. So, come on, uh, I'm gonna change DO end of the story reason is that i'm trying to push logic to its limits to see if it will break or not well actually it has been a very good old companion and i can't really complain so far so in this period i am exploring logic to see how it can perform not only as a standard let's say um, sequencer but during live sessions as well you know like using live loops and stuff and I find myself thinking, how can I modify the tempo in real time? Is it possible to increase or decrease the BPM in a live fashion simple way? Answer is yes. So we want access to logic MIDI environment here. Shortcut command zero. You want to go to not global object, thanks, but uh, click on ports here. And you want to go to new, then scroll down to fader, then go to all the way down specials and select tempo control here. To record directly into the sync reference, please cable the tempo fader between physical input and sequence. Got it? Okay, that's no problem. This guy doesn't need to be, I mean, linked to any other object here in this window. I mean, let it just float in here or, or there, wherever, <laughs> wherever you want it. So when I move my slider up or down, well, let's, uh, uh, I like my cursor here. Uh, just watch here the uh, BPM um, reference in the in display. Look what happened. So moving up until 177 or move it down until 50. Got it. Job is done. But I guess now you're wondering why on earth you would do such a thing. Isn't that absolutely pointless? Well, my purpose is to play back a logic project and make it follow my tempo when I am conducting my choir. I mean, I want a logic to play a song, right? But the tempo of this song should not be fixed, quantized all the way from start to finish, but moving along with the tempo I am impressing from time to time with my gesture during me conducting live my choir right if that makes sense now coming back to our logic environment so we should now bring this tempo fader to be controlled um, using a way more appropriate device i mean rather than our mouse right to do so you have to go to new again and this time insert our friend transformer which is right here transformer then you click on transformer double click sorry and then you have to uh, select in status equal then uh, uh, here down here in the column fix to uh, meta because we have to insert a meta event mm -hmm. E equal sorry equal uh, control here status equal control fix meta and then I choose my control my liking like I'm 
just for the sake of this example I'm choosing um, let's say control number one which is modulation module which is controlling the meta event fix here number 100 right one last thing now you have to connect this guy here so from our keyword we go to transformer from transformer to tempo from tempo to input view or whatever you want to so now whenever i move my mod wheel up or down it should change our bpm here let's test it right you see i am moving my mod wheel here control change number one with my uh, MIDI controller here and control change number one mod wheel is assigned in this way to our tempo slider so for instance we play back our song here then when I move my slider assigned to mod wheel I can change the tempo you can hear real time.